Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be talking about why uh, Mercedes-Benz sucks. Take a look at this. This is the the G L 550. It's not a bad looking car, but it has 88 L. It has almost 100,000 miles on it for 23 grand. That is just too much for a car with mileage that high. Why would I why, why would I want to spend that much for a car with that high mileage? Look at the E class. These things also suck. Like, when they were at their worst, there was like a, this. Like, how bad they can be literally goes back to 2000. This thing literally sucks. It has so many electrical issues, it's unreliable, it's cheap, but it literally has six-figure mileage. But that explains why it's so cheap, right? Oh yeah, not to, like I said, these things have also t terrible electrical issues. They have a history for that. They were supposed to be viable, biodegradable, but they still, but that then they degraded and yeah, they they just suck. They just suck in general. And even look at the S class. Okay, this is their flagship luxury sedan for like chauffeurs, fancy chauffeurs. But just let me tell you. Okay, these older models, these older models like this, this one, this is like the good Mercedes. This is like a part of the good era of Mercedes. Back when they were, back then they were reliable. I am recording. Oh, sorry. And also, these things have, were literally used by the Russian Mafia, so that's when you know that they're great. That's right. Like, this one, sure, it has six-figure mileage, but the engines are so reliable and so sturdy that probably don't even need to fix them that often. They're great. They're good Mercedes. New ones, on the other hand? Ugh. These things freaking suck. These things are so bad. See the X S sixty five. Forty seven thousand for a car with seventy six thousand miles. Like sure it has these fancy screens in the back so you can watch movies, but still. And that is this fancy, like fancy quilting, but still. Why would I want to spend that much? It doesn't even have proper wood trim. It just has this bland black trim. So everywhere you go, it's just black in the interior, and it gets really old and bland. It's just one solid color, and it sucks! Ah. Even the 2006 model is where it's at its worst. This thing is still is covered in just sprinkled with plastic, cheap pieces, fake wood trim. This thing is just awful. There's... It, this thing is... Just, it's just so bad. He even had an accident report on Edges on this. Even this. 48,000! That's almost 50 grand! Half of six figures with this much mileage. Even worse. This thing is outdated. Yeah, this thing was probably already sold already! Like, sure, the interior looks really nice, but come on. They're just so expensive and unreliable. And they're German cars. German cars have a history for being bad. Well, at least in the modern day, old German cars were awesome. Yeah. They just... Just don't buy a Mercedes. If you're going to buy a fancy, fancy luxury car... You know what? Just... Just get a Cadillac instead. That's my word of advice. Get a Cadillac.